What's up you guys, Orcus Knight here, back again with another action figure review. And today we'll be taking a look at the Fortnite McFarlane Toys Black Knight 7 inch action figure. Before we get started, I just want to give a shout out to Emoji and Spells101 for requesting for this review. Taking a look at the packaging over here, it's looking pretty nice. Same thing that we'll be seeing with the rest of the Fortnite uh, action figures. You got the Fortnite across at the top, you got 22 moving parts, a nice window box that shows off all the accessories and the figure, and you got the uh, figure's name at the bottom, and then an age mark. So you got an end game image of the Black Knight along with Fortnite at the top and Black Knight at the bottom. On the other side, it's pretty much the exact same thing. You just see the window box continuing over. At the top, you got Fortnite, Black Knight, with the McFarlane toys and the Black Knight photo. And then at the bottom, there's nothing really much going on. At the back over here, you got photos of all the figures inside this wave. You got the Black Knight, which we're taking a look at today, Cuddle Team Leader, Skull Trooper, Raptor, and then the second wave of figures, which should be Rex, Omega, Red Bomber, and Drift. I have done a review on the Omega. Go ahead and check that out. And then 7 inch action figures, social media, and role play items. Alright, guys, without further ado, let's get this guy open. Alright guys, so here's the Black Knight out of the packaging, and so far I'm thinking this is a pretty cool figure. Here's all the accessories that Black Knight comes with. He does come with a base that has Fortnite engraved onto the plastic, along with two peg holes for the bottom of his feet, so he can stand on top of this. He does come with his black shield backlink. Let's look at the back of it. If you wanted to, you can plug this into the back of his back. As you can see, there's a peg right there, so you can just go ahead and push that in, and it fits on pretty well. He does come with a grenade launcher, and this is looking pretty cool. Some pretty cool paint going along. Looks pretty accurate uh, to the game. And this can fit into his hand if you wanted to put it on there. And finally, here's a look at his pickaxe. Uh, I'm not 100% sure of what this uh, pickaxe is called, but I know it's from Season 2, uh, from the Season 2 Battle Pass. Uh, if you guys know the name of this, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. And then you can hold that really well. Here's looking at the Black Knight, and wow, just wow. If you guys watched my Omega review, uh, I was complaining about there was not being enough paint on that figure, but this figure is just stunning. Like, this is such a big step up, although this is a figure that they released uh, before the Omega. Very compared to what he looks like inside the game, and I gotta say, he doesn't look anything like it is in the game because of the metallic uh, paint that they've added throughout the figure, but at the same, saying that, at the same time, it looks way better than it is inside the game. Here's a look at the head sculpt and you can see how they attempted in creating glowing eyes that he has inside the game. Uh, but yeah, it's, it doesn't look too bad. I, I, I quite like it. The sculpting is on point and the paint is on point. Pretty, pretty good McFarlane toys. Love this thing. And of course it has that metallic sheen going out uh, throughout the entire figure and just looks absolutely awesome. And there he is without the back bling. Here's a look at the inside of his hands. Looking great. Here's a look at his legs. Here's a look at the back of his legs. Here's a look at the bottom of his feet. And then just to end it off, there's a side profile look at the figure. This guy does have 22 parts of articulation, as the box did say. So he does have a ball joint, and he's able to move around however you like. It's just that the neck armor, or the neck piece here, the neck scarf, or whatever you want to call it, kind of hinders that articulation, so he can't really look down all that much, and not really up, but he can move side to side pretty well. His arms can go out as they click uh, about that much, so around 90 degrees. And he does have another ball joint inside of the uh, arm over here. So you can get double the articulation there, double the movement. You got a bicep swivel, uh, double jointed elbows, which do move in <laughs> pretty far. Holy shit! You also got some hand articulation. Over here you can move side to side and it can move uh, up and down and such. It's, it's on a ball joint as well so you can do whatever you would like with it. Uh, he does not really have any waist articulation, which is probably my only gripe about this entire figure. Uh, he does have a waist, like a diaphragm joint, like just before uh, the waist there. So you like, you can't move it down and that much. 
can move it back or not much you can move it side to side and pivot it do whatever you want with it because it's on the ball joints so you can kick it forward and I'm gonna be really careful because the last time I did this with the Omega figure the freaking leg fell right off so I'm only gonna kick it up as that much for now because I'm, I don't want that happening again and then you can kick back uh, he does have uh, the uh, splits you can do the splits pretty good he does have double jointed knees at going holy pretty far and then you do got some ankle articulation move down and these all click so I'm glad that they do that because then that means it won't break very easily you can uh, kick up and then he does have ankle pivots slightly not too much and then he does have toe articulation here's the black knight compared to omega and as you can see black knight is standing a little bit taller so there, there's a little bit of a problem there in terms of the height difference because these are supposed to be all the same character model inside the game so they should be the exact same height but that's okay they still look like great figures I did get a request too to see what the back wings look like when you mix and match them. So when you plug that on there, there's a look at Omega with the uh, black knight back wing, and that actually looks pretty sick. So I might keep that on. And then if you want to see what he looks like with the Omega back wing, you can just plug that in like so. And oh, it's a bit of a tight grip, so I can't really go in all that way. But there's him looking with the Omega backlink. So there they are, mix and match with their accessories. And Black Knight's looking pretty cool. They're looking, a little, they're looking a little bit weird with that Omega backlink on, but it's kind of cool, the system that McFarland Toys is adding into these guys. The fact that you can like change your uh, skin as you do instead. <laughs> Final thoughts on the Fortnite Black Knight McFarland Toys action figure. I gotta say, this guy is, if you're a fan of Fortnite, go and pick this guy up right now because, you know what, this is this is a great figure. That's all I gotta say. It's a great figure. It's a great figure. The paint, even if you don't like Fortnite, this is still a great figure. This this guy has some great paint detailing, some great articulation, uh, some all right accessories. But, yeah, like, compared to this Omega, though, I, I gotta point this out. Compared to this Omega, when I did... Uh, I, I never had one of these guys before I had the Omega and Omega came out after this Black Knight over here This guy's plastic compared to this one's it feels really really cheap I don't know what they're doing But I'm guessing it's like a way of making more money off these guys because they're gonna sell anyways But McFarlane toys, please don't do that. Keep this keep this style over here This guy has great paint great articulation. This guy has great articulation, but n almost no paint and cheap plastic Okay, you McFarlane toys, please keep this if you're watching please keep this please keep this i just spat on my mic honestly guys my final score for this is an easy 9 out of 10 easy 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 if you guys like fortnite once again go pick this guy up even if you don't like fortnite and you just like great action figures with great paint and great articulation go pick this guy up this guy i i, I can't stop saying it. he's a great figure mcfarland toys like they have done absolutely amazing on this guy i don't know what this is though they should keep this though but I'm not going to continue ranting about it because I'm going to go on for hours. Anyway guys, be sure to leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys have thought about this Black Knight action figure. Tell me what you thought about this review. Uh, if there's anything that I need to fix, whatever. Uh, be sure to leave a like rating down below if you want to see some more Fortnite related content. Or if you want to uh, see me doing other stuff. And also, be sure to subscribe. But anyway guys, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's been the Dorks Knight. Goodbye.